Hello everybody and welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be playing some of the Ruby Amethyst Bounce Aggro mid-range-ish kind of deck. Um, I have not really played it very... I haven't really played it at all and I'm just trying to learn it so this is going to be a pretty fun experience. We're going to hop right into the link, uh, ranked ladder and away we go. My, my version is pretty low to the ground. I'm not playing any of the nine cost Maleficents. Um, yeah, I don't really. Well, eh, you know what? This hand's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just get rid of these two. I like having. Eh, yeah, and this one as well. Um, just threw it right back. Okay. Interesting. Well, like Friends on the other side is a card that I I don't love. Yeah, I, I don't want to ink Friends on the other side because it's not looking like I'll have a really strong turn three play. Um, my turn three play looks to be maybe seeing Teeth and Ambitions and just cast friends on the other side so it's like not super powerful by the looks of it um yeah we are going to ink the yzma and just play mim and this pascal is going to turn into ink i'm pretty pretty sure about that okay so i do want to teeth and ambitions this one pretty pretty badly like i just there's so, there's so many good songs now in Steel that I think I really need to make sure I, I get rid of this one. Of course, it's kind of depending on what my opponent decides to play as well. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really envision... Well, that's one song that they're getting rid of. That's good. Strength of a raging fire, mysterious as the dark side of the moon. All right, so this is interesting in the sense that we can sing this and then just get rid of Cinderella, which is pretty tempo positive here. Yeah, we'll sing. Boom. Boom, get rid of your Cinderella. Make sure you can't sing. If they make this trade, that's okay. And then I'm just going to play Arthur and pass. Uh, my opponent is emoting, but I'm just going to mute him because that just feels like what, what I really want to be doing. I, I don't like the emotes on these things. Whenever they add these into the game, it just feels like your opponent is just like BMing you. Just fine. That's this is one that's totally okay. I I don't mind that whatsoever. Yeah, go ahead there. All right, so we have a Lefou that we are going to ink, and then I'm just gonna slam down this. I really do, I want to sing Friends on the Other Side. I kind of want the board position, I think. So I kind of want to keep the rabbit on board, and I'll just sing Friends on the Other Side here. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's fine. It doesn't look like Arthur was getting pressured too much. I do have to say, Ariel is so much better now because there's so many more good songs you can hit. It's it's kind of crazy. Like, this card used to miss, and now it is really, really hard for it to miss. So I, I do love that. Um, I kind of want to, like, hit in. <laughs> I, 
So my theory is kind of that they'll just be able to sing a whole new world, and that would be pretty annoying for me, especially if I bounce this. I kind of want to... Oh, this is where the experience with the deck kind of comes from. Like if they're going to do that, I want to make sure I have a pretty good board for that. But they could also just sing Grab Your Swords and then I am like not in a great position. Well, actually... I'll be in a fine position because I just get to replay the uh, Arthur. So I'll be I'll be in a fine position here. Unless they just double grab your swords this turn, that would be unfortunate. But at least I get to Tremaine the Ariel off the board. Yep, just seeing grab your swords. Pretty good. Please don't have another one. We would not like that. Okay, let the storm rage on. That one's fine, I think. Like, takes up their whole turn. We definitely get to Tremaine this thing, get it out of here. Or maybe not. Maybe we have to trade Madame M in with something, but uh, that's okay. I'm not not super worried about that if uh yeah, it kind of sucks that we have to oh no where to go 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 please come back please come back okay there it goes <laughs> disappeared on me for a second i didn't like that yeah so we get to just play the tremaine this is going to be good at keeping up with the fresh uh the pressure the flute's going to cause i think we'll be able to outrace this unless they come up with a second one i've been thinking about trying the flute in this deck because like i said there's so many good songs that could be really good the whole new world okay so they just have to just cast that which isn't actually that strong yeah yeah get a lure that's okay all right so this always quests i'm gonna sing teeth and ambitions here i think that way this doesn't just get wrecked by grab your swords i don't want them to just slam a stitch into play um just play goat and We'll ink Pascal, and I guess we'll just play a Mim here as well. Just try to keep above the lore here. Make sure we're racing them, keeping some cards in hand. And the thing is, is that as long as they don't get to sing Grab Your Swords, then it's going to be or, uh, a whole new world. It's going to be pretty hard for them to do a lot of a lot of things in one turn. Hmm. Alright, grab your swords. Not one I'm I'm scared of. It's totally okay. Next turn, we're just gonna play two different Merlins. Like, yeah, they get a lore every turn. If they like I said, if they draw a second flute, then it kind of starts to get scary, but I'm not super worried about it. Okay, so we can do this again. Just get rid of that Cinderella. Make sure they can't sing something that costs three. Right. Um, well, I probably should have played the Merlin before I inked. Yeah, I should have. Again, double grab your swords is the, the car... The, series of things we want to avoid but that would still take on most of our turn so it's not something i'm super scared of like we would get card back we would get lore back 
basically be able to refill next turn or, you know, be prepared if they played some kind of threat after the double grab your swords. Yeah, there's one. That's fine. They've used two Storm Rages on, two Whole New Worlds, two Grab Your Swords, a Strength of Raging Fire. They've used a lot of their good, a lot of their good ones so far. Yeah, that's okay. Like, that was not the most powerful thing, it seems like. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Merlin. Draw a card. Can... Hmm. Ink mini. I can't really. You know, maybe I just make this trade. I wonder if, like, I just play Grab Your Swords here, here, make this trade just so I can keep another threat on board. But then, man, do I just get destroyed? Eh, you know what? I don't care. Um, I'll accept getting destroyed by, like, another a third Grab Your Swords or whatever. I'm just really trying to stay ahead of my opponent. And because I have... Goat Merlin in my hand, some be prepares. I think I can, and uh, you know, Rabbit Merlin and, and play. I think I should be able to outlast them here. Like, what would be bad is if they were to just go maybe they slam flu, ink slam flu, then a whole new world again, and like they just start being able to rack up three lore every turn, that would be kind of rough because we can't really interact with that very favorably. But then we also have one, two, three, four lore on on board, a Merlin in hand, so that might be fine. Okay, there's the grab your swords. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, let's draw a card. See, this is where a double flute would be annoying, or a flute. If they don't have it, that's okay. I can keep this just another threat. There's no reason to ink, ink that many. I mean, and they can't really... They've used three grabber swords already. Like, they're going to have trouble dealing with this mini mouse. Yeah, maybe I should just inked it because of that, but... So it's kind of open to avoid that. <laughs> Flu. Okay, so they just have the shift stitch here, which, like, it's probably okay. I think we're going to ink this. Yeah, I'm going to do this because it sets up for lethal. Right, yeah, I mean, I could just play Arthur, but, like, this way I have three lethal threats in play and a Merlin in my hand that can, again, if they were to deal with the board, I would be fine. Yep, and we got there. One and oh, pretty good, pretty good so far. Solid. Okay. Looks 
see. Don't know what I'm going against. I can at least ink this if I need to. This is a pretty reasonable three cost. Maybe I don't. Ah, eh, you know what? I'm going to keep it. It's just good. Okay. So I kind of wish I threw that away, but at least I'm on the draw, so I know. Uh, like, I have more information on what to ink and if I should play the Pascal or not. Yep, ink and huh. That makes me think that this game's probably gonna go long. So hmm. No, I don't really want to run out of inkables here. Let's just do this and and pass. Like they're playing Amethyst, so the game's gonna go long and some of Maldi's characters are just going to get swept up by deep repairs and, and the such, and I just don't want that to happen to any of my characters. <laughs> so, yeah, let's let's not let that happen. Huh. Well, maybe I just play this, so if I need to, I can teeth in ambition something next turn. But really what it's going to be is just... Probably a way to gain extra lore off this Arthur the first time. Maybe not, though. Maybe I should have just not played that. They didn't play anything. I wasn't under any pressure. Okay, so they have Maleficent. So they might be a little more. Mid-rangey. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to quest with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to quest with this because I really don't want to get mad amend. Like, this is going to get bounced in my hand and be an ink at some point. That is the goal for this card. What are they going to do? Another Maleficent, which is fine. Just ink all the late game stuff. I, I really should just ink this. That was a mistake. Man, Mini Mouse is so good. It's a way to put on pressure, seeing friends on the other side without your character getting beat down. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't even pressure it. So strong. Uh, yeah, we'll sing, bang, bang. I suppose I can just get... rid of this. I'll ink and play a mim and just return this mini to my hand because that is going to get inked next turn. So just the way it's looking like right now is next turn is going to be a Maui, and then we're going to follow it up with multiple Lady Tremaines. Okay, so they didn't quest first, which is not ideal. Just the order of things can be hard sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's fine that they played this out. Um... Yeah, I'll link mine. And I think well, I don't really want to get Maui either though. Although it's not like the worst thing. Maybe I'll just play this because I can bounce the Maleficent to gain some more and draw a card. Yeah, if they have I suppose if they have if they just want to Maui this, I don't really care that much. Yeah, they, they left three lore on board last turn. Why wouldn't they just quest with this and the 
thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they're ahead on war. Really, what this means is. No, there's. Do I want, I think I just, I do actually want to return this. Yeah, next turn, I'm going to be prepared. And they're going to be at a pretty high lore, but if they don't have, like, a substantial number of threats the following turn, then I, I can probably start taking over the game. Oh, they get rebounds that. So good. I really wanted to catch that in the beat. I mean, like, they just missed another lore there. Not great. So, one, two, three, four. Yep, they're at 12. We're on the back foot a little bit. And they have a the goat in their hand still. Yeah, not great here. Okay. So, we know we're doing that. We know we are going to... I suppose it's the Maui. Yeah, we'll just play Be Prepared. Wipe their board. They'll probably play Goat or something. That's okay. I mean, they could have, I think, four more lore. So, 15. The Goat would be 16. Killing the Goat would be 17. Uh, okay. So, I mean, uh, this is fine, too, I think. Okay, well... If I want to just get this off the board, I don't think I need to necessarily. Like, I think we can win this race. If we draw an inkable, we definitely have some really strong tools. I wonder if they're just going quest with that thing. Nope. Okay. That's totally fine. I will definitely do some questing and I'll just play Tremaine. We'll just get rid of this one. It doesn't matter. I'll just bounce the tr uh, Do I want to bounce the Tremaine back to my hand or do I just want to play... I might just want to play Arthur. Yeah, I think I'll just play Arthur because it's not like they're going to like kill me this turn. They're not going to win. They probably have to challenge the Merlin because I played the Arthur, one of the Merlins. Totally fine. Yeah, that doesn't do anything at that point in time. Okay, so they get to use that to banish my Tremaine, which is fine also. I have another Tremaine. All right. Boom, boom. And they're just not inking, so it's like I know they don't have... It's like, I know they don't have to be prepared, so I can just do this. And, yeah, I should be able to win next turn, probably. Yeah, so it looks like they're a pretty similar deck. They're probably just a little lower to the ground. You know, they're a little more aggressive. 
Or maybe they just had a bad draw. It's, it's kind of hard to know. I would assume they're just a little more aggressive. So we were able to go a little bit bigger. Um, and usually that's, that's kind of what you want to be doing, right? You just want to go a little bit bigger than your opponent. In the mirrors... All right, so 2-0 so far. Good starts, good starts. Interesting. I also want to keep this LeFou just so I have a... Uh, like... Yeah, let's do this. Hopefully I can draw one drop, and no. No one drop, no two drop. No, that's fine. They gonna love me for my ambition. 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 Okay. Ooh, this should be interesting. Hey, 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 we we did draw a one drop. Nice. Yeah, I will play that mini. So, the one threes are really good because of the teeth and ambitions that. That kind of makes me wonder if instead of Pascals, I should just be running Olaf as well. Okay. Totally fine. Nothing to really worry about. I'm going to have to ink this, I think, which I don't necessarily love, but... Yep, let's just get that Flynn Rider off the board. Make sure <clears throat> we can keep their lore count low. And then next turn, we can just play Madam Mim. And, uh, well, that's pretty good, but, like, we weren't, we were kind of far away from that anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, we can take it slow. They didn't really do a whole lot. I really want to ink this. Hmm. Yeah, that hypnotizes pretty good, but it, it doesn't develop the board, so it's not, like, insane. Let's just get rid of that, like it just trades with Captain Hook, so it's not particularly strong, and we just are going to draw another one anyway. I'm just not going to ink anything. Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know if I'm... I have to admit, I'm not totally sure if I'm playing this game right. <laughs> Well, I will accept that for sure. And yeah, we're just gonna sing friends on the other side. I think we can ink a Yzma and pass. You know, draw, just drawing the Merlin is kind of the, the best thing that you can do. Okay, Cheshire Cat. Oh, <laughs> two cards or an action? Are you joking? All right, so <sighs> well, that sucks. I, I do want to keep the Yzma in case they play the beast. I, I really did not love that. <laughs> that was that was a rough one. Um, we might have to just like play this Yzma to draw some cards with the Merlin. But then again, man, just, oh, man, Lucifer was good there. I 
do think this deck is kind of good at keeping up with those kinds of resources, but that 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 was still pretty gross. Maybe I don't have to <laughs> do that. Okay. No, I'm just gonna quest. I don't care. I'm gonna play another thingy. I'm just gonna keep in my hand because I'm probably like if they just slam a beast down, I'm gonna want to play the Yzma on it, which is not something that. I would love to do, but I might have to. Oh, man. Okay. That's really getting ahead in car economy after that one. So I think Yzma's just gonna end up beating up a, uh, a Merlin, so I can draw some cards. Yeah, they can't really like trade or anything, so it's fine. Okay, that's fine. Ink or a uh, quest, quest. Hopefully, there's not another another one. Okay, all right. Pretty, pretty standard to be honest. Um, yeah, we're just gonna draw two. Oh, this. Maybe I don't care about like them just like if they were to just gain six lore i might not like maybe they just trade here make a trade there might not even care i mean there are definitely some plays here that would just singing a grab your swords here might really mess me up If they have a good follow-up, I should say. Yep, so that's the first thing they do. Tank, very good. Not something that I'm, like, terrified of. A little bit, but not fully. Ooh, oh, no, what happened? Okay. All right, well, not ideal, but that's okay. Yep, quest again. Trade, I get to draw another card. Do they not have any cards in hand now? They, I can't tell. So yeah, they get a quest and like, it just readies. Oh no, 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 okay, okay, that's okay. Oh, and they had a sing of Grab Your Swords too. That is rude. Hmm. Wow, that was a <laughs> that was a really powerful turn. Okay, you don't love to see that. Um, all right, Pascal, you're not good, so you can get out of here. Probably just get rid of the Lucifer. Hopefully they didn't draw some like another tink. If they didn't draw another tink, then you know we might have a, a chance at grinding them out here. Oh jeez, another chest shard. Okay. That's actually not so bad, I don't think, but a th man, a third one is Pretty inferior, infuriating to be honest. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Um, get rid of Lucifer again. That's okay. And then we 
have to I think we just have to do this my opponent's deck is sweet the beast can definitely lead to some extremely strong turns I'm guessing I mean they have to have Oh, they had a smash. Come on. Oh, if they have another character, we're going to lose very badly. Okay, they don't. So that means we have a chance. Get that beast out of here. Let's not just die to it. Okay, Flynn Rider is annoying, but... It's Actually, not that bad. That was a good one. Sixteen, right? Uh... Mm, I, I meant to put it on the Merlin. I should have put it on the Merlin. That was a, that was a mistake, but. It's fine, just keep their board clear. Tinky tink, pretty good, pretty good. Quest, quest, quest. Yeah, now it feels like we definitely have control of this one. Heck yeah. Got there. Got there in that game. That was a tough one, though. Let's do one more. Oh, this, this deck's pretty fun. I mean, they had that insane turn with Beast. We are still able to get there. I, I dig it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to throw away everything and hope to get a... Well, at least a more functional draw. Okay, Dolyzma. That does not count as functional. Away Yzma, which makes me sad. I think it's pretty good. I gotta throw away another Yzma. That would also make me pretty sad. It depends on what I'm playing against, I guess. I gave you my blood alcohol. Okay. I think I could throw away one goat. I don't like throwing away the goat just because... Um, like they're really good at just getting you to the finish line in some games, but I also just don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, bang, bang. That's not bad. I mean, this is just going to sink teeth and ambitions and just kill one of my things. So maybe I should just do this. I would prefer teeth and ambitions than not kill my character if I can help it. All right, Nick Wild. So I haven't played against this deck. Um. A little nervous of uh, Flaversham, but here we are. That's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's just he's just a really powerful card, right? Draw so many cards. If I, I'm glad I did draw the goat, but. Well, what's gonna happen? Like a Maui? That's fine. I. I don't even know if I, I care about that like a whole lot. It just the only time this matters is if they have like a dinner bell. Okay. Um. 
so it's not like I mind my character just getting picked off by it though. I just don't care. I'm gonna get rid of my Maui. And I'm sure if I were to play this it just gets Hades, but that might be okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll just play this. That's fine. Like, if this gets Maui, this gets Haiti. I guess if they start getting rid of my board, I just don't know if I care how they do it too much. Because they didn't use the quill last turn. And... They didn't want to ink using the quill that turn either. All right, so best case scenario for me is that they challenge here. Hmm. Yeah, I was more I was more hoping they would challenge uh, quest. That didn't quite happen. Yeah, I just don't think you're going to get there, Pascal. This is rough because, like, I eh, might as well just not let them. Not totally sure, honestly. I can see this being a bad matchup just because we're not super aggressive like a Hades here is just a terror it seems like that's not great either it's not great either it's not so bad I don't know it's really hard to know another popsicle totally fine they make this trade I get to No, uh, they must just have a no, 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 no. They can they can double do this. Totally fine, though. I don't like this thing being alive. Just doesn't matter to me that much. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm trying to put some pressure on my opponent by, but I don't want to. Like overplaying to be prepared. Although now we're in a situation where I think I probably could overplay to be prepared, and it would be fine. I mean, they already have like a bunch of gas nons and stuff, so. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger to Winnie the Pooh, Tigger to okay. Mini is interesting. I kind of want to quest with this. Return it. What if I just ink this mini? No, no, no. I feel like I should just play this mini. It's a pretty good threat, actually. Then go up to eight. This is a play that could just get absolutely destroyed by 
there be prepared, but I mean, that just that just is what it is. A lot of things get destroyed by there be prepared. Okay, Maleficent, pretty good. I mean, honestly, honestly I kind of hope I draw mine. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is not that. Okay. Yeah. And we are really looking for a be prepared here. I don't think we're going to quite get there. 16. <sighs> 15, I should say. Uh, we're going to play like we are going to get there, though. Just is what it is, I think. I think if we draw a be prepared in our top 20 some cards, then we're actually somewhat likely to like win this game. Maybe not, because I don't really have a great follow up for it. Was this quest for two? Why is everything quest for two nowadays? Okay, now that they did that, oh, and no be prepared. Not lucky. Enough there, huh? Teeth and ambition doesn't really matter. Resist and ward one. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, that ended up being kind of rough because they never really had a cast to be prepared. Like, I, I thought they might on one or two turns, and, like, we just didn't draw one of ours in the top 25 cards of our deck. It happens. It's just a little unfortunate. Good game, though. Good game. All right, yeah, we'll play one more. It's kind of frustrating. Like they, they played in they played out so many threats to that turn that if we did draw a be prepared we would have been in like I think we would have actually been in pretty good shape. Didn't quite get that lucky though. It's just it just happens. Uh, 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 uh let's just get rid of the Maui just because it's the expensive card we have and we can play mini. Same deck, totally okay. Just means this teeth and ambitions is going straight into the inkwell. So bad against them. Seems like mini is really good though. Uh, Graham, okay, that's solid. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do this. I just think putting these minis in play turn after turn is going to be really good. It's just not something that they can easily answer. Yeah. Okay, cool. Totally fine. This means I can't play a Maui this turn or this next turn. Give me something ink. All right, so I can ink that. And yeah, I just want to play this, I think. And pass. Yeah, 
you know, we start putting a lot of pressure on them. Maybe not now. <laughs> um, I mean, like, if I'm not developing anything else to the board anyway, then, yeah, I just don't need to do that. Yeah, and I can go up to seven, which is kind of a lot. You know, if they just be prepared here. I get to just play Merlin and maybe something else. Yep, totally fine. Fishbone Quill's a really strong card. Yeah, this would be prepared. That's totally fine. Well, that ended up being pretty good uh-huh all right all right yeah i mean this was the kind of draw that we need like we got ahead with a lot of the minis and friends on the other side so we got up in tempo um they be prepared us but we had already drawn a bunch of cards so it wasn't a big deal now they, they are going to get a bunch of cards back, unfortunately, with Flaversham, but kind of just is... Oh, come on. That's kind of unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate though. Um, the the fact that they found Gramatala... Huh. Yeah, this is kind of something we have to do. Like, we just can't let this Flavorsham draw a million cards. Um, if they play another Flavorsham, they need something cheap. Well, I mean, he only costs four. Like, it's not like he's super expensive. It's kind of crazy, honestly. All right, so that gets a Popsicle back. That's totally fine, actually. I don't... mind that too much yep and we'll pass they could probably have Maleficent here to be the Tremaine probably need it honestly okay poisoned apple oh they have Maui oh that's Whatever. <laughs> um, it's kind of enough resources to where I don't care a whole lot. Nope, play this one first, like a responsible gamer. And yeah, we are going to do that. And I think I'll get rid of the friends on the other side just so I have enough ink for the coming turns. Yeah, I think we're going to get in a spot where we can just keep bouncing Merlin. Unless they have a be prepared here. That would be gross. Okay, they did. They did. They did it. They really did it. Um, but they don't... They probably don't have a good... It's not like they have a good follow-up. Like, it's fine. Unless they have another be prepared. Okay, another popsicle. Just cycling through, finding more flower shams. Okay. Um, finding more be prepared is probably as well, unfortunately... Yeah, let's make sure we can continue to draw some cards and put on some pressure. Nick Wild, totally fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, all four popsicles in the top 33 cards of the deck. <laughs> It's pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah, I 
Didn't mean to do it that way, but we did. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I just want to put enough that I went on my turn. My opponent doesn't interact with me. Like, they need to be prepared. Otherwise, I do have six. I mean, they could obviously play Maleficent or something, but this card seems, like, kind of annoying. They probably don't be prepared if they played that, I guess. They are used two. The Tremaine. All right, we'll get rid of Pascal. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. We're so close. So close. I do think we're in a position where, like, we just, yeah, we just go up to, like, 19 this turn, and then I'm not 100% sure how they're going to get to 20 before us. It's possible, I guess. It just seems kind of unlikely. Let's go boom, boom, boom. Yep, definitely doing that. Getting too lore. Hmm. It's interesting because I could just be prepared. My opponent has no board, right? And then... My opponent just has nothing going on. Like, what? Like, they just have a bunch of ink, but they don't have any... Anything, really? Like, nothing to really threaten us. So, we play... And that, that would also make our Lady Tremaine better, as well. Makes their Lady Tremaine better, but... I mean, they could just challenge, and then Lady Tremaine, so... It's not like a big deal. Another quill, another flavorsham is what we want to see here. Yep, then I'm just gonna bounce the Tremaine and play mini because I don't want to lose to one Tremaine or one removal spell. Nick Wild just doesn't have it. Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So we got there. We actually, what did we do? Do four and one, three and one, something like that. It went pretty well. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really like this deck. I think it has a lot of strong play patterns, and I'm excited to tweak it as, uh, as we go. As always, thank you guys for joining. And uh, if you have another deck that you want to see us play, come back and let me know. I'll play it. I like brewing. I like playing a bunch of random stuff. So let's do it.